Geneva Motor Show 2017, Preview, All the New Cars and Pre-Show Information. The Geneva Motor Show gets underway next month. Here's our roundup of all the news and what to expect right here. With the Detroit Motor Show out of the way, we're gearing up for the next big event on the motor industry calendar, the 2017 Geneva International Motor Show, kicking off early next month. The Geneva Motor Show is one of the European motor industry's most important events, and it's always a hotbed of activity for new car launches and big scoops. The show began in 1905 and currently takes place every year at the Geneva's Pale Expo Exposition Center, with this year's edition the 87th overall kicking off on March 7, 2017 with the first of two press days. The Geneva show opens to the public on March 9 and tickets are on sale now. With just one month until the show begins manufacturers are beginning to tease and reveal new models set to grace the stands. We've also got a good unofficial inkling of what else to expect, though surprises are common too. Once Geneva 2017 is underway we'll have a team on the show floor, bringing you exclusive pictures, interviews, and all top stories. Below is our preview of what to expect at the 2017 Geneva Motor Show, and we'll be updating this page regularly with fresh information on the concepts and new production car debuts between now the show getting underway. Geneva 2017, The Key Cars Alpine Sports Car Slash A120, Renault Sports Car Sub-Brand to be reborn with homage to legendary Alpine A110. Vauxhall Insignia Grand Sport, Vauxhall to go push further up market with plush four-door coupe. Volkswagen Arteon, new VW saloon to replace Passat CC will take on BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe. CD Visa, new seat super mini to get fresh looks ahead of all new Arona crossover. Mitsubishi SUV, all new crossover will inject some style into Mitsubishi's range and take on the Cash K. Nissan Cash K facelift, Britain's best selling crossover to get minor styling tweaks but big tech upgrades. Geneva Motor Show, the cars in detail. Alpine Sports Car. Renault has been brewing a rebirth of the Alpine brand for some time now, and it's expected that this year's Geneva show will see either a reveal of the Mark's new sports car rumored to be called A120, or at least fresh details. Alpine recently revealed that its Porsche Cayman rival will make use of a lightweight aluminium construction and will be mid-engined, and a price tag around £50,000. BMW i8 Protonic Frozen Black The latest special edition BMW i8, the i8 Protonic Frozen Black, will be at the Geneva show. Following on from last year's Protonic Red Edition, this car boasts a unique paint job and interior styling tweaks. It'll be followed by a Protonic Yellow Edition later this year. Dendrobium All-Electric Hypercar A new all-electric hypercar concept from Singaporean electric vehicle makers Vanda Electric is poised to appear at the show. So far the company has revealed that its hypercar has been developed jointly with Williams Advanced Engineering the technology wing of the Williams Formula One team, while the murky teaser shots provided hint at the car's low, angular, and aerodynamic bodywork. Eden Green Black Quilin One of the most mysterious cars heading into the show is the Eden Green Black Quilin. Only one teaser shot has been revealed this dark sketch plotting the car's outline but it's clear that the new British sports car maker is prepping a retro-futuristic Morgan rival. We'll get more details closer to the show. Fittipaldi EF7 F1 legend Emerson Fittipaldi has joined forces with Pini Farina and what to create the EF7 Vision Gran Turismo by Pine and Farina, a new supercar making its debut at the show. It'll be recreated digitally to feature in the Gran Turismo series of games. Ital Design Supercar Design House Ital Design has revealed that it will bring a new and exclusive production supercar to the show, limited to just five examples. So far we've only seen a couple of murky teaser shots, but should the car be anything like Ital Design's stunning Zero from 2016, we should be in for a treat. Con WB12 Vengeance Volante Following on from last year's reveal of the Aston Martin DB9-based WB12 Vengeance Coupe, 
Khan will return to the Geneva show with a convertible version of Vengeance Volante. Expect the original 510BHP 6.0 liter V12 engine to remain in place, with a price tag exceeding £300,000. Kia Picanto The next generation version Kia Picanto is coming to Geneva before going on sale in the UK this spring, and Kia has already revealed pictures of its new city car in racy GT line trim. The new Picanto gets a 15mm longer wheelbase for a little extra space in the new cabin, but it's no longer than the outgoing car. Engines should be shared with the latest Hyundai i10, meaning a 6.5 bhp 1.0 liter 3 cylinder and an 8.5 bhp 1.25 liter 4 pot. Lamborghini Huracan Super Performant. One of the likely supercar reveals at this year's show will be over on the Lamborghini stand with the unveiling of a new hardcore variant of the Huracan. Rumored to be called the Huracan Super Performant, spy shots of the car reveal an aggressive aero pack including a huge new rear wing and additional power building on the car's 602 BHP 5.2 liter V10 could be on the cards too. New McLaren Supercar Slash 650S Replacement McLaren has introduced a new car at Geneva for the last four years, and will continue its streak this year with a new Super Series model to replace the 650s. The Woking-based company has revealed a little information ahead of the car's reveal such as its new all-carbon monocage 2 chassis and active rear wing, but most details remain under wraps. It should arrive with more power, and our spy shots suggest McLaren has plenty to hide in the design stakes. Mercedes AMG G65 AMG 4X4 Superscript 2 Cabriolet One of the maddest creations set to grace the stands at this year will be a new entrant into Mercedes AMG's 4X4 Superscript 2 range. Tip to be the G65 4X4 Superscript 2 Cabriolet, it'll get AMG 621BHP 6.0 liter V12 by turbo powertrain plus a long, four-door wheelbase with a convertible roof for the rear passengers. This teaser is our only official glimpse, but we've spotted it testing too. Mitsubishi SUV It wouldn't be a motor show without a new crossover, and Mitsubishi will step up to the plate at Geneva 2017 with a new family car to take the fight to the Nissan Qashqai. The new car rumored to revive the Eclipse name will sit above the ASX in Mitsubishi's range, and the teaser image confirms it'll take design inspiration from the XRFEV concept. Plug-in hybrid tech is likely to feature. Nissan Cash K Facelift Nissan says it has exciting crossover news planned for Geneva 2017 and we've been expecting a Cash K Facelift for around a year now, following on from last year's Cash K Premium concept reveal. The Cash K Facelift should take on some of the Premium concept's minor cosmetic alterations, but big new tech will be the car's showpiece, with semi-autonomous driving modes rumored to feature. Pagani Huayra Roadster Another new supercar at the show will be the Pagani Huayra Roadster a drop-top version of Pagani's bedroom poster Huayra which should be one of the fastest open-top cars on the planet. Pagani has confirmed the Roadster's arrival on social media, and with the same 720bhp twin-turbocharged Mercedes V12 under the rear clamshell a top speed of over 220 miles per hour isn't out of the question. Porsche 911 GT3 Facelift The current 991 generation 911 GT3 made its debut at the Geneva show in 2013, and this year Auto Express understands that a facelift model to be offered with a six-speed manual gearbox and a new engine is likely to appear. Engine capacity should rise to 4.0 liters, with power above the 500 bhp of the 911R. Range Rover Veeler As revealed by Auto Express last June, Land Rover has identified a gap between the Evoque and Range Rover Sport and will fill it with a new coupe-like SUV thought to be called Veeler. Spy shots reveal a new Range Rover with a significantly lower, coupe-like roof and our exclusive image previews what it could look like. A Geneva reveal looks likely. Skoda Kodiak Scout and Sport T-Line Not an all-new car, but two important introductions to the Skoda Kodiak lineup are on the way with the rugged Kodiak Scout, pictured, 
and racy Kodiak Sporty line set to debut at Geneva. The scout gets tougher protective cladding, a raised ride height plus off-road assists, while Sporty line gets eye-catching, plush design tweaks. Both are all-wheel drive as standard. Skoda Octavia VRS 245 The hottest Skoda Octavia ever is on the way and set for a Geneva debut. The Octavia VRS 245 gets 242 bhp out of its turbocharged 2.0 liter TSI engine, meaning 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.6 .6 seconds and a top speed of 155 miles per hour. CD Visa Seat intends to make a splash at this year's show with the introduction of an all-new fifth-generation Avisa Super Mini, ushering a new look closely following the angular new facelift Leon in design. Seat busied itself in 2016 with the launch of its first SUV the Ateca and the new Avisa will form the basis of a smaller SUV, known as the Arona, later in the year. Subaru 15 A year on from appearing in concept form, the new Subaru 15 is set to make its debut. Our teaser image suggests the final design will stay very close to the Geneva 2016 concept, and hybrid power could be on the table along with conventional boxer petrol and diesel engines. It'll go on sale later in 2017. Suzuki Swift A next-generation Suzuki Swift is on the way and primed for a full reveal this March, though we've already seen what the new Suzuki Super Mini looks like. It gets a sporty, angular new design setting it apart from the rounder, more sensible Bailano. It's a larger car than the outgoing model but lighter thanks to its new chassis, and it should be on sale this summer before a new Swift Sport in 2018. Toyota Yaris Hot Hatch Toyota has confirmed that the next Yaris will get a hot hatch variant to mark the company's return to the World Rally Championship, and will get a full reveal of the new Ford Fiesta ST rival at Geneva. Details are still scant, but we've got official pictures showing off the new Yaris wearing a lively body kit and Toyota promises that it'll develop more than 210 bhp. Vauxhall Insignia Grand Sport Vauxhall intends to push the Insignia further upmarket in 2017 with the introduction of the new Insignia Grand Sport a classier, more high take on its saloon with the BMW 3 Series in its sights. Inspired by 2013's Monza concept, the Grand Sport ushers in a four-door coupe look, made it to a longer wheelbase. A plush new cabin loaded with tech and a revised engine lineup signal Vauxhall's new aspirational ambition. Vauxhall Insignia Sports Tourer Alongside the public debut of Vauxhall Sleek New Coupe Saloon will be an estate version called the Insignia Sports Tourer. A 520-liter boot is touted, with a starting price likely around the £23,500 mark. Volkswagen Arteon The Insignia Grand Sport won't be the only new aspirational four-door coupe at the show though VW will debut the Arteon, a replacement for the Passat CC and new rival for the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe. The totally new model will be a step up in quality compared to the CC it replaces, with a sleek new design, new technology, and a starting price of around £30,000 when it goes on sale this autumn. We've driven an early prototype, and you can read our impressions so far here. Geneva Motor Show Location, 2017 dates, and ticket prices. Planning a trip the Geneva Motor Show this year? Below is some of the key information you'll need to get a ticket, and get there at the right time. Dates. The Geneva Motor Show opens with two press days and this year they're on Tuesday March 7th and Wednesday March 8th, although there are a number of press preview events, where key cars will be revealed, on the evening of Monday March 6th. After that, the show doors open to the public from Thursday March 9th and it's every car fan for him or herself. The final day of the 2017 Geneva Motor Show is Sunday March 19th. Opening Hours On weekdays days when the Geneva Show is open to the public the show halls are open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. On weekend public days it's 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Location the Giant Pale Expo Exhibition Center is the home of the Geneva Motor Show. The address is, 
Route Francois Peyrat 30, 1218 LE Grand Sac X, but Pale Expo is right next to the Geneva Airport so it couldn't really be easier to find. The proximity to the airport means there are good train and bus links from elsewhere in Geneva and although the Pale Expo car parks are reserved for exhibitors, driving is an option. Parking facilities are provided near the venue with an estimated 5,000 spaces during the week and 10,000 spaces on weekends to be found within a 5 km radius of the venue. Just be prepared for some heavy traffic. Tickets Geneva Motor Show 2017 tickets are available from the official website. The cost isn't unreasonable given how much there is to see, with adults charged 16 Swiss francs, about 13 pounds. Pensioners, disabled people, and children between 6 and 16 will only have to pay 9 Swiss francs, around 7 pounds, and there's a 50% discount on any tickets bought after 4 p.m. on the day of entry.